Congratulations. Thank you. Whoa, you knocked it out of the park, my friend. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> you did such an amazing job. And I have to ask you, what was it? How do you think you sold Brian? How do you, why do you think he got the role? Well, what he said, I mean, I don't know. But what he, <laughs> what he said is is that, you know, I was the most courageous. I actually didn't know that. I heard him saying it uh, in an interview. And I was like, oh, that's what that's what it was. You know, I thought I was, I was the most handsome. But... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that goes without saying. I'm joking. I'm no, joking. it goes without saying. No, but seriously, you know, you're taking on a role, uh, this legendary player. Um, you know, what kind of pressure is that on you? It's a tremendous amount of pressure, um, but at the same time, it was it was fun. I mean, like I didn't I didn't think about it from that point of view. Like I I, I try to find a way of uh, ways of taking myself away from that that way of thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt pressure mostly from the family, you know, not that they said you better get this right or um, or they they were really like, you know, overbearing at all. But I just wanted to do well by them. Yeah. Uh, when I first when I met Rachel Robinson the first time, I just I, I she's a regal woman and um, she was like a grandmother at, 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 in that first meeting. and. At certain moments along the way, you felt I felt that from her, and I just wanted to do well by her. That's it, yeah. you know. Yeah, just to have her presence there and have her blessing on this movie, you know, to everybody involved must have been phenomenal. She came to the set. Uh, she uh, she was involved in, you know, she read the scripts, different drafts of the scripts. So, you know, you're getting it right. You know, nobody can say. Um, you know, they didn't get this right about, about Jackie. I mean, they could, they could say it, but I felt like if she um, signed off on it, then, you know, it must be, it must be legit. It must be authentic. Mm -hmm. And there were even moments like, you know, where we're sort of, we don't, we don't necessarily know that that moment in the tunnel happened, but it had to happen. She, and the fact that she didn't, you know, so you got to take that out of the script. He never broke down like that. He never had a moment where he was weak, you know, where he doubted. She didn't take that out. And so it's important to have that moment in the movie. And um, it, it sort of is the crux of the whole story, yeah. like that he gets to that point and then he goes on. And, um, you know, for me, that was one of the key key um, elements to the story. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. I was going to ask you a little later, but now that we've got a segue, I'm going to go there right now because you're on that field. You're playing, you know, this amazing baseball player, yet you are a human being, and you are standing there doing a scene where Alan Tudyk is screaming these racial slurs at you. How, as a human, do you even get past something like that? Uh, well, you want it to happen. As an actor, you know, as as a person, it you know, you have to have your space. That's what you do. I mean, you you have space before the scene. You have your space after after the scene. You know, you you tell people to leave you alone. Don't come over here right now. <laughs> like, you know, because it, it could be dangerous for you. It could be dangerous for me. Um, so, you you have to have a set where. Um, you're giving, giving that protection, and I think they provided that so that you could get the most real experience on screen. Were you, you know, even in shock reading the script or just talking about the racial injustices that he had to deal with, especially in Philly? Uh, I'm not. I'm not surprised by it at all. I mean, I felt like, um, you know, in some ways, it, 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 the film it, it gives you the right amount of it. You know, I'm sure he experienced things that were even worse than that. You know, I'm sure I'm sure he did. But I felt like the film gave you the right amount of it yeah. so that you can enjoy the other parts. Because one of the things that, that Rachel Robinson said to me is that you, her words were basically, you not only helped me remember to remember the, the darker moments of that time, but the, the joy that we found with each other. You know, and and sometimes that's the irony of life that during 
the most difficult moments, you look back on it and you realize how much you enjoyed it, yeah. you know, how much you can celebrate it. And um, I think you needed to have both things in the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. What a great relationship they had. And of course, their Canadian connection, Montreal, of course, you know, so right. it was all good. They, uh, they feel good about about Montreal. Absolutely. Yeah. I know they embraced them and yeah. uh, they still have mem mem memorabilia there for about Jackie and will go on forever. I, ha I do have to ask you about Harrison Ford. I mean, seriously, dude, you're working against Harrison Ford. What right. is that like? <laughs> I mean, it's it's like getting up for the big game. That's what it is. You're, you're, uh, you circle those scenes on, on the schedule and say, you know, this is the big game. This is Lakers Celtics. You know, this is Bulls Detroit. This is the Red Sox and Yankees, you know, that's what it is. So I, I just looked at it as, as, you know, this is why you play the game. What do you learn from a man like him? He's been around for a while. Well, you learn from his experience. I mean, there's certain things that you can ask him that are, that you, that you don't learn when you go to acting school, <laughs> you know? You don't learn those things in a classroom, you don't, and you might not, you're not, you're not gonna learn on other sets because he's, he's played the lead before. That's what he, he's a leading man. And uh, in this case, um, I'm playing the lead. It would, be a it would be a foolish thing to not ask him, you know, certain things about how to do that. So I asked him small things at moments, and then at other moments I just watched him on set. I watched how he, uh, his rapport with the crew. I watched, um, you know, the way that he understood how things moved around him. Um, little tricks of the trade, and you just pick them up. Well, you did an outstanding job in this movie, really. I, I so enjoyed it, and I just can't wait for people to see it because uh, hats off to you, my friend. You did a great job. All right, great to talk to you.